Shalom, family. Shalom. 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 I was just waiting for the uh, camera to, uh, to cut on. But, you know, nevertheless, hey, shalom, shalom. Greatness, greatness, greatness be bestowed upon y'all who are bearing witness to this video. I want to start off by giving all glory and all honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Wah Kwadash Rakah. Giving all glory, all honor, and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. I want to say Barakathom to all of those who are being diligent inside of this truth. Start from the elders on down to the youth. Those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers. As well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahawashai, who is the Malak and our Adewan. But as we love to always make it known... As ministers of the new covenant It's all about the kingdom It's all about the kingdom So to get right into this family You know Just to uh, bring forth this exhortation <clears throat> To the Akimanak Wathium Meaning to the brothers and to the sisters Who are doing the best that they can When it comes down to uh, serving the Lord You know out of diligence And, 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 and having their hearts set on the things That will be motivating them to stay firm and to stand strong 10 toes down within the Lord 10 toes down within the Lord you see because we know that you know the Lord is the one who is in control of all of these things which we do see in the book of Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7 as y'all see on the side of the screen yeah but for the most part you know I wanted to build off of um wow is a tree and a branch has been cut off like it looks like it like maybe the wind blew or maybe because it was raining really hard and a branch has been cut off even that too wow branches are being cut off but uh nevertheless let's get right into it you know what i mean because that can go on so many angles you know what i'm saying through the spirit of the lord i learned you know you always got to keep yourself in a place of peace you always want to dwell within that inner peace when it comes down to serving the lord you see because even the scriptures as you can even see the scripture on the side too as well and what it states about our joy you see what i'm saying our joy about our joy you see what i'm saying and, and being within the lord because that joy also is connected to um confidence you see and and being well assured of knowing your place when it comes down to the glory of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, or if you want to say Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, meaning the Father God in the name of His only begotten Son, right? And we get the evidence of all of these things the more we are communing, you know, within the Lord out of wisdom, you know, because the wisdom will help you to see, even when you're not able to see. You see, that's why the scriptures uh, makes it known, as y'all can see on the side of the screen, about uh, blessed are those. Which have not uh, seen, but yet they do believe. You see what I'm saying? So, 
we're going to get right into the scripture because the scripture I want to get into is in the book of um, Ruth chapter 3 and verse 10 and it states and he said blessed be thou of the Lord right my daughter for thou hast showed more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning in as much as thou followest not young men whether poor or rich all right the key point and what or shall I say the key factor in what was as I'm meditating in this and what's coming to me is that thou has shown what more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning Woo. see it's something about when you growing in the spirit of the Lord and he begins to reveal certain things to you that helps you to mature you know it has nothing to do with about being oh you a punk or oh you this or oh you know having to prove something you know what I'm saying because I learned <clears throat> over time and, and if y'all could check on previous videos when I go in about pride you know what I'm saying and what pride does when it comes down to the body you know what I'm saying and um and how it can be detrimental towards your soul you know and um these are things that I've grown to become accustomed to and um overall just like any other video you know of me when I'm speaking based upon what the Lord is increasing me with to give Akim and Akwafim you know motivation be the best that you can be in this truth they say they say if and, 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 and there's a good uh, philosophy if you can't stand for anything you will fall for any if you can't stand for something you will fall for anything so lock it there you go if you can't stand for something you will fall for anything I'm gonna say that one more time if you can't stand for something you will fall for anything so I want brothers and sisters within this day to really think on that and as it is written in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 as y'all can also see on the side of the screen right and it's dealing with the matters of kingdom is motivation inspiration on what to stay vigilant on the things that are dealing with the matters of what kingdom 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 that's what it's about you see and as we are growing in the spirit of the Lord wisdom and gain a better perspective within wisdom or what it means to dwell with inner peace because that's something that the Lord uh, bestows not just on us but in our lives when we have ourselves to seek See, you see what I'm saying? Inner peace. I can tell you this now: you will find inner peace in the midst of a storm. It's like you can hear wisdom in the midst of a storm. You can find the most beautiful things within self when. You are put in the fire. So, I love y'all and stay up and stay blessed and know that the Lord is already seeing your way out of whatever you're going through. Whatever you're going through. Stay up and stay blessed. Love y'all. Shalom.